I want to talk about a little trick I used to do back in the 80s. And just because it was the 80s doesn't mean it's bad. We actually did some pretty cool things back then. This is using two microphones. The first microphone is an SM57, just the way I was talking about before, it's slightly off axis in front of the, in front of the amp. Uh, now the second microphone is also a 57, could be any other mic you want, but uh, I've, I've always done it with a 57. Now it's pointing in the opposite direction of the, of the amp, and now there's a hard surface, and we use these little, uh, they're actually speaker stands, and create almost like a little chamber here. And what happens is the sound bounces off this hard surface over there. That could be a gobo, it could be a, a door, it could be a wall, it could be any kind of a hard surface. And the sound bounces off and into that microphone. And it's not a, a reverb or a delay or a, um, an ambience of any kind. It really creates sort of a comb filter effect. And it works mainly on dis distorted guitars. It wouldn't sound very good on a clean guitar, probably. Uh, I've never used it on a clean guitar, but on a heavy distorted, we used to use it for Brian Adams quite a bit back in the 80s, and you know, I think Simple Minds and the Pretenders, some of the things that I did back then. You can get this kind of a gnarlier sound. It's like a very short delay, like a few milliseconds, but it's not only a short delay, it adds the character of whatever the, the wood is that you're using to bounce off the, the microphone. You can alter the sound quite a bit by moving this microphone back and forth, it's not, there's no set distance. You could try different, different sizes. I mean, this is about, uh, what we used to use was a, was a little longer than this, actually. It was probably about 10, eight or 10 feet, something like that. And uh, it's amazing the variety of sounds that you can get just by doing this. And, and you can get a, it's actually more of an aggressive sound than just one microphone or even two microphones in the front. It's, it's quite interesting, it's something you might want to try. <laughs>